what I thought, so I'm just turning a few bowls now and I'm just going to do a few different slip designs in the middle of them with different kinds of coloured oxides and I'll just give you a quick show I'll just show you how easy it is to do some quick designs with nothing more than the brush and your finger so. Right then folks, I'll just try and show you an overhead view of how easy it is to do some sort of slip designs inside some small bowls So the first one's going to be a dead simple spiral so what I've got, I've got some coloured slip on my brush and I'm going to just fill the inside with it. I've got to be quick and work quick quickly otherwise the, the pot will drag some of the moisture out of the slip. So basically fill it up like so and quickly with your finger from the inside to the out. Just stretch it out like so. And that gives you a simple spiral shape. I don't know whether that will be visible on the... Uh, video but you see and then a second one on a similar sort of theme to that is where you use you can make a spiral with your brush like so and then you get a different coloured slip a darker colour one like so and then just do the same thing again and then what happens is it sort of bleeds the two different colours will bleed into one and you get a really random sort of spiral so that's the second type of spiral one. And I will just try a. This is quite just a random brush stroke one, which comes out really effectively once it's once it's fired. So I've got one one type of uh, slip there. I'm just going to slap it in like so. Like I said, totally random, and a different coloured one. Do the same thing. Slap it on. You end up with something like that. Like I say, totally random, but it, all the colours sort of bleed together when it's glazed. So that's the second one, the third one, sorry. And then we'll try a, a sort of Celtic bandy sort of colour one. So again, just got some slip on a brush, and I'm just going to put a, a band in the middle. And again, just using my finger, just go like so. And that gives you a simple kind of Celtic band type design. So that's dead easy. And then finally, you can try anything, it doesn't really matter. And try another one. This is just like a star or a flower thing. You just use one finger and just flick out. And that gets you an effect like that. So like I said, totally random. You can try anything you like with slip, but it's just a matter of manipulating the slip about when it's spinning and you get all sorts of weird and wonderful designs so that's about it folks that's five different designs in a minute or two give it a go